This guy was rushing into the water, not to catch ducks, but to save a drone about to fall into the water. Luckily, he saved it just in time. However, not everyone is as lucky. For instance, this guy found his beloved drone in the water. He was okay, but he was heartbroken and screamed out. All of this was due to the drone not being waterproof and having a low flight time. To prevent this from happening, drones began to enhance their waterproof capabilities. Some can even dive after entering the water, their propellers turning into spiral shells that can move freely in the water. Water, while some can even spray water. People have applied this invention to high-rise firefighting, where ladder trucks cannot reach. Through the drone, they can reach the fire from a distance, and also capture the location of those trapped, helping firefighters rescue quickly. Then people even dared to use it to build airplanes. Hundreds of drones were put together, through the remote control in hand, relying on the powerful force to lift people into the air. However, people have not yet fully solved the problem of fire resistance of drones. Once a drone flies into a fire, it will lose control and fall down. Do you you know how to solve this problem. This machine in the forest can be said to be unstoppable. Whether it's a large tree stump or a small sapling, as long as it's unnecessary vegetation, it will flatten and crush it. This is a self-propelled forest mulcher. It is divided into two parts. The rear of the driver is equipped with a conveyor belt wheel. This allows the machine to adapt to rugged mountain roads. The front is equipped with a drum that can rotate at high speed. The surface of the drum is full of overlapping your own teeth like dog teeth. They are all made of hard alloy. Rotating at high speed can easily crush large trees. How does it work? The driver sits in the driving cabin, first controls the cutter into the base of the tree. After cutting off the trunk, the tree will naturally fall forward, then control the cutter to crush along the ground. In a blink of an eye, a large tree has been crushed on the spot. This is a method of crushing larger trees. If you encounter shrubs or saplings, you can directly crush them along the ground. It is worth noting that because of its excellent crushing efficiency, it can not only be used to crush trees, it can also be used to crush rocks. Whether it's gravel, or marble, all will be crushed into fragments. The treated soil will become very soft. There are no more rocks that can plant new green trees. Significantly increase the land use rate. You are using a lot of manpower to do this work, right? Place a large shovel into the ground. The tractor automatically moves backward. In this process, the cable will be laid straight into the ground to a depth of 2.5 meters. Wherever the machine automatically moves, the cable will be laid there. This is a type of machine that can lay cables without having to dig the ground. It consists of two parts. The part with the large shovel is the tractor. The part being pulled is the laying vehicle. The laying vehicle does not have any power device, only a lifting device. The top of the lifting device is connected to the conduit. After planning the cable laying route, workers will use the digging method at the starting position, then open the tractor to the front of the starting position, control the large shovel to insert into the ground in a slanting direction, connect the wire to the automatic tractor. The laying vehicle and the tractor are connected to each other through a cable. At this time, just turn the drum on the tractor, it can pull the laying vehicle to move to it. At the same time, the cable will also be buried in the ground. After laying a distance, the tractor will move a distance forward, and then insert the large shovel again. Because the pulling force is very large during the pulling process, even if there is a shovel that has been inserted into the ground in advance to increase the resistance, the tractor will still lift the front of the vehicle. Using this machine to lay cables, there is no need to bother digging the ground anymore. You still use manual labor to dig and then bury the cable strands, don't you? The wrapping machine is combined with the lifting machine. One side lifts, the other wraps. In an instant, a four meter tall seedling has been tied up. I believe you will find this scene familiar because we have recently introduced the Christmas tree tying machine. Both machines operate on the same principle. Both use an internal slide to pull a thin wire around the trunk of the tree. The ultimate goal is to reduce the volume of the tree. This is beneficial for the subsequent transportation of the seedlings. If the Christmas tree tying machine was invented for short, fat trees, then this machine was specifically invented for tall, thin seedlings. After the machine moves to the side of the seedling, the driver will control the direction of the triangular device hanging in front, then open the embracing ring to hug the trunk of the tree. The internal slide will pull the thin wire to tie the branches of the tree. The lifting machine can lift up to 6 meters. Interestingly, to prevent the branches from not being tied well, two bow-shaped robotic arms are also installed in the triangular device. First, they make the branches return to shape and then wrap them. This can ensure that every branch is tied. After completing this step, the digging of the tree will begin. Without the need for human strength, the crescent-shaped tree digging 
cutting machine will cut down the root of the tree. After cutting out a crescent shape in the ground, the tree root and the soil have completed the separation. Then pull the tree root up. After the workers complete the final wrapping work, a seedling can be safely transported away. Are you a gardener who still uses a shovel to dig seedlings, right? Aim at the tree base and dig down. Then grip the tree trunk tightly and shake it. A clean seedling has been dug up. This is the unimaginable seedling digging machine. It was invented specifically for bare root seedlings. You need to know that bare root seedlings are quite gentle. Digging up is also quite easy. But for thousands of seedlings, machinery is much more efficient than human strength. Two workers form a team. One person is responsible for driving the machine. The other is responsible for collecting seedlings. When the machina moves to one side of the seedling, the hydraulic column on one side of the machina will lower to the ground. At the same time, the U-shaped product in the middle position will also be dug up. At this point, the machine will flip down, stick to the tree base, and advance into the soil. In a blink of an eye, the seedling has completed the task of separating the roots from the soil. Then, two foam plates on top will clamp the tree trunk. While shaking continuously, all the soil attached to the tree roots will be shaken off. Finally, there are workers standing next to collect seedlings. Using this machine to dig seedlings, the efficiency is very high. Only in one hour can harvest hundreds of bare root seedlings. In addition, this machine can also dig soil root seedlings. After strengthening the arc-shaped product around the U-shaped product, control the arc-shaped product around the tree roots to insert into the soil, then control the U-shaped product to complete the task of separating the roots from the soil. Pull the seedling along with the soil ball up after that. The worker will complete the task of wrapping the roots. Thus, a soil ball seedling has been dug up. <laughs> A metal wire inside the pipe was slowly pulled out. Along with it, the mud blocking the pipe was also pulled out. The pipe immediately became unblocked. However, the unblocking of the pipe was not due to the metal wire, but a tire tied to the end of the chain. Under the pull of a large earth-moving machine, the tire entered from the inlet of the pipe and exited from the outlet. Whether the pipe was blocked by mud or rotten branches, everything was cleaned up, making the pipe clean and unblocked. The principle of cleaning is understood, but how can this chain tied to the tire get into the pipe? In fact, before starting the cleaning work, the workers will cooperate with the earth-moving machine. They will place a long, thin steel rod into the pipe from the outlet. When they reach the inlet, they will hang the chain on the steel rod. In this way, the earth-moving machine only needs to pull the steel rod back, and the tire will be pulled into the pipe. This is the way to unblock small pipes. When encountering large pipes, the tire will not be strong enough. At that that time, the workers will use a semicircular iron. The usage is the same as before, only that it needs to be pulled repeatedly to clean the pipe. Of course, smaller pipes cannot use tires. Workers will replace it with a special spray pipe, put it into the pipe. It can spray a high-speed water flow in reverse, and it will squeeze into the gap in the pipe based on the thrust. Eventually, all obstructions will be cleaned. Have you ever seen a trailer like this? Vehicles can drive directly onto it, and it can extend up to 10 meters. The rear wheels can be steered and moved sideways. After clearing the entrance for the transport platform, the incline can be manually released so that large vehicles can drive directly on. Finally, after adjusting the rear wheels, preparing the trailer becomes easy. Apart from the front of the vehicle, all other parts are hydraulically controlled. The transport platform can not only extend depending on the length of the vehicle being transported, but can also be adjusted to widen on both sides. Hydra Hydraulic pressure is applied on the front and rear wheels. If the road surface is rough, the hydraulic pressure can be adjusted upwards to raise the entire platform to the level of the bottom. It can be said that, as long as it's a normal vehicle, there's nothing it can't tow. All functions are controlled wirelessly, with a maximum load capacity of up to 48 tons. In addition, a trailer specifically for motorcycles has been invented. It consists of four wheels and a box. When transporting motorcycles, control the front of the box to lower it, then control the front wheel to lift it so that the rear of the box touches the ground. Therefore, there's no need to install a a separate ramp, and motorcycles can be driven directly onto the box. Finally, control the box to return to a horizontal position, and motorcycles can be transported anywhere. So, isn't it interesting? Excavators and trucks fly up and down from the sky. This is the scene of construction when building a large-scale dam. Since construction vehicles cannot reach, they are lifted up by cranes. Although it seems like building a dam, strange square structures are installed on both sides of the steep cliffs. They look like outdoor air conditioning units, with thousands of such square blocks embedded in the mountain rangi. We need a unit just to build them. It is said that this will enhance the stability of the dam, but in fact, this principle is not complicated. The dam project relies on both sides 
sides of the mountain range. And besides ensuring the quality of the dam, the stability of the mountain range is also important. If it is not strong enough, strong water pressure can deform the mountain range. And over time, the dam may collapse. To prevent this from happening, workers often reinforce the mountain range in advance. The main method is to use reinforcing structures, such as the square structures installed on the cliffs. Initially, workers will control the crane to bring the drilling machine to the necessary position, then drill holes in the cliffs and pump concrete into them. Next, they insert corresponding lengths of reinforcing rods, which pass through the unstable part of the cliff and straight into the stable part of the mountain. Finally, they fix the head of the reinforcing rod to the mountain, forming a square structure. This compresses the surface structure of the mountain range, effectively preventing deformation or displacement. So is the cost of building this dam worth it? This is a rotating plier, which can bind a small iron wire after putting this steel wire and cable together in just 0.5 seconds. Its name is an electric binding plier, mainly used for binding grapevines. The machine has four gears. The higher the gear, the more the number of binding circles of the iron wire, and the tighter the binding. It also comes with a battery pack. Before use, the hooker will pass the small iron wire through the hole at the bottom of the pliers, all the way to one end of the plier head. The other corresponding end also has a small eye of equal size. The hooker walks on the grapevine, binding the grapevine every 20 semitherm. After drilling the grapevine and steel cable together, control the pliers to put it on. First, clear the switch. Let the mechanical head pull the small iron wire to extend into the small eye on the opposite side, then pull the pliers back. Let the small iron wire become arc-shaped, and finally press the switch completely. Let the pliers rotate to bind the iron wire and complete the cut at the same time. These two steps will be completed at a very fast speed, binding while walking. When fully charged, a pair of pliers can bind 7,000 times. In addition, there is also a kind of rebar binding pliers, but the binding method is different. After aligning the wire with the cross rebar and pressing the switch, the built-in iron wire will wind up in circles, firmly fixing the two rebars together, accelerating the construction speed of the construction site. Isn't that amazing?